Hello friends, welcome back to our vocabulary study for IELTS or IELTS. Today we begin with the first pair is ancient and antique. Ancient means very old. Ancient glory of past kingdoms, and past kings and also emperors. Ancient people, we say. The Neolithic men, we call them, means uh, old stone age and new stone age men, we call them ancient people. Paleolithic and Neolithic men, we say. Ancient kingdoms, ancient days. Ancient days, we speak about ancient days, means very old days. The example I have given is we admire the glory of ancient kingdoms, very old king kingdoms. The second one in that pair is antique. Antique means old fashioned, old fashioned furniture, old fashioned uh, dress, old fashioned garments, old, old fashioned uh, buildings old-fashioned structures. Uh, for example, you know, the amphitheater you know, in Rome is an antique theater. Antique means old-fashioned. Listen, it's old-fashioned. So here, here we have one example is, uh, we have a collection of antique furniture. Antique, with the old furniture. Furniture, it's antique furniture. But the next pair is ascend and ascent. The first ascent, A-S-S-E-N-T, means to agree, to give permission. The president uh, gave his assent to the bill passed by the parliament. Permission, or he can say, agree. He said agree. He gave his uh, consent, he can say, assent. The other is A-S-C-E-N-T, ascent means to climb. Ascent, climb. Very often we Ascent the trackers, for example. Example given is that the trackers, here, here it is. We said the trackers ascended all the peaks of the mountain. Trackers, they ascend. Some people ascend uh, the, uh, some people ascend the, as part of their trekking expedition, they ascend. Uh, but we have tall, very high hills. They ascend very high hills, ascending. We said the, the Christians, they believe that uh, Jesus, after the selection, ascended to heaven. Ascended. Means climbed or went to heaven. That is, ascended to heaven. Ascend, ascended. So that means to climb. I think that is clear. Next pair is Canon C A N O N and C A N N O N. C A N O N means to give uh, to give permission. To give permission. For example, we said the president gave his assent to the bill passed by the parliament. Assent means agree, permit. That is ascended means. Uh, the, sorry, the canon means. Next one, Canon C A N N O N means heavy guns. The military moved the cannon to the front. Heavy guns to the front. And the cannon, C-A-N-N-O-M cannon, singular and plural is the same. There's no thing called the cannons. But cannon, C-A-N-O-M cannon, means cannons, plural is cannons, means S. You have to add S to that. I think that's clearly Okay. So here it is. Cannon, the rule of principle, we should obey the canons of the society. We should obey the canons of the uh, society. We should obey the canons of principle, uh, sorry, behavior. Canons of behavior, that means rules of behavior. Behavior. The other canon is, I have already told you, uh, big guns. Is. So the military move, here the example given here is, uh, the army uses cannon to fight. Canon means singular and plural is the same. Okay, the next prayer is childish and childlike. Childish means immature. His behavior is childish. Nobody expects childish behavior from, from a young man. Because a young man is an adult. But childlike means innocent. Innocent. His, he appears, his his, uh, his behavior is childlike means 
innocent that is the meaning innocent so here example given is childish don't be childish you are now an adult don't be immature his childlike behavior impressed me his childlike behavior childlike behavior means his innocent behavior behaving like a small baby child the next guy the next pair is ceremonious and ceremonial ceremonious means with all formalities we will uh, with all serum so we can say uh, uh, all formalities the governor was given a ceremonious welcome he was given uh, uh, Or welcome in all formalities. That is ceremonious. The bishop was given a ceremonious welcome. See the 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 couple was given a ceremonious welcome. So here the example given here is marriage. He says sorry. The chief guest was given a ceremonious welcome. Means we are means observing all all formalities. That's the thing. Ceremonious welcome. Again, say again, say uh, he appeared to be very ceremonious this morning. <laughs> we can say like very formal, very ceremonious this morning. So very formal this morning. Ceremonial means relating to feast, festival, and so on. Relating to ceremony or festival, festive, festive is it? Can say the marriage. Marriage is a ceremonial occasion. Ceremonial occasion. That means a festive occasion. So the ceremony, ceremonial occasion, festive occasion. Everybody likes to participate in ceremonial occasions and festival-like situations. So the ceremonial. The fireworks they conducted uh, was a was a ceremonial one. Means a festive one. Fireworks. Festive, very happy. So, uh, again, I say that you know another another example is Holi. We celebrate Holi. We we all uh, like the we all welcome Holi because it is a ceremonial function. Ceremonial that means connected with the festivities. That's the thing. Next pair is complement C O M P L I M E N D. The other is C O M P L E M E N D. C O M P L I I M E N D means praise, saying good words, compliments. I send my compliments to him. As I send my good words to him, I greeted him. It's a compliment. Example given here is the people paid compliments to the singer. The singer was so excellent that they paid compliments. Means spoke good words about that singer. The students paid compliments to their teacher at the farewell party. So they spoke, they spoke good words about the teacher. That is paying compliments. Compliment, C O M B L E M E N D means to complete, as in complete. For example, no? so full compliment of the committee. That means all the members of the committee. The full compliment of the legislative assembly. That means all the members of the legislative assembly. Full complement of workers. It's all the workers. Today we are very happy because we have got the full complement of workers with us. Some days what happens? Workers they will take leave. Today nobody took leave, so we are very happy. So we can cover it out. So example given is today we have our full complement of workers with us. Today is such a nice day that we have got full complement of. A full complement of the staff of the college. Very often you don't find such a situation. If there are 120, 20 will be absent. Natural, casually, and all those things. But today it so happened that eh, we have the full complement of 120 teachers present because it is a ceremonial occasion, and we have to accord give a ceremonious welcome to the principal, to the new principal. So you can connect three words like that, isn't it? Ah, uh, because we are all paying compliments to him. Compliments. We are paying compliments to him, isn't it? And 
and and he is not childish but he is child like we can say sir <laughs> so we are supposed to observe all the canons of the college but we never use canon <laughs> that in that way you can also connect all these sentences and the principal has uh, given his assent to declare today as a holiday okay then uh, assent me after that he ascended to the throne he climbed to the throne uh, because in uh, reminding us of the ancient glory of this college and he used an antique chair so you can have all these words connected to it hope that you are enjoying and you are following and it is useful to you uh, see you again till we meet again bye